You learn that a performance goal is a target that has a measurable numeric value. Performance goals and their associated metrics define success. Without them, it's simply a feeling or guesswork on how a campaign is actually benefiting a business. This video has three examples of how performance goals are based on business and marketing goals. Suppose a business goal for an e-commerce store is to improve customer acquisition by 20% over the next three months. Customer acquisition is a marketing term for the process of gaining new customers. Customer acquisition for an e-commerce store depends on traffic to the site. The more traffic coming to the site, the greater the chance of acquiring new customers. A campaign is planned to help generate more traffic to the site to improve customer acquisition. For the campaign, you set an initial performance goal of a 20% increase in weekly new visitor counts to match the desired business goal. To determine whether you're meeting your performance goal, you monitor the metrics for new visitors to the site and compare them to the previous baseline numbers. Once you reach a 20% increase, you've met your performance goal. But it may take more than one performance target to satisfy a business goal. In the previous scenario, what if new visitors come to the site but leave without taking action? That's called bounce. The bounce rate is the number of bounce sessions divided by the number of total sessions. If you increase your new visitor count but have a high bounce rate, you might not reach the business goal of improving customer acquisition by 20%. Try setting a second performance goal to reduce the bounce rate by 50%. Then monitor the performance metrics for new visitor counts and bounce rate. You can observe that weekly increases to new visitor counts aren't offset by bounce rate that is too high, and the number of returning visitors is holding steady, or increasing along with an increase in the number of new visitors. In the second example, a business goal is set to achieve $50,000 in incremental sales over the next month. A marketing goal follows to increase the marketing return on investment, or ROI, by two times its current value. To determine a performance goal and additional budget at a campaign level, perform a couple calculations. First, determine how many more orders need to be placed to generate an additional $50,000 in incremental sales. For this calculation, you can use the average order value, or AOV. AOV is the sum of individual order amounts divided by the number of orders. Let's assume the AOV is $148. Divide the target incremental sales of $50,000 by the average order value of $148 to get the number of additional orders, or $338. So the performance goal is an additional 338 orders. Next, if the current marketing ROI is 2 and the marketing goal is to double it, you can assume a 4 to 1 ROAS to be aligned. You can then calculate the incremental budget you need by dividing the incremental sales amount by the return on ad spend. Divide the incremental sales amount, 50,000, by the target row as four. You will need to request $12,500 of additional campaign budget to drive additional sales. In the last example, the marketing goal is to increase the conversion volume from social media by 25% over the next six months. Conversion volume is the total number of conversions or total monetary value of conversions over a period of time. A conversion happens when a potential customer takes a desired action. If you're measuring conversion volume by the total number of conversions, you can set a performance goal for an individual channel. For example, over the next six months, you could try to increase by 10% the number of conversions and sessions referred from Instagram. If you're measuring conversion volume as a monetary value, you'll need to assign monetary values to different types of conversions, such as leads or purchases. This can normally be set up and monitored in tools like Google Ads. A performance goal in this case would be a certain monetary amount by the end of the six month period. For example, $100,000 attributed to conversions in sessions referred from Instagram. Congratulations, you made it through learning how to create performance goals from business and marketing goals. These examples are quite detailed, so feel free to replay the video as a review or for help to complete other course activities. You'll practice creating performance goals on your own. You'll also get a chance to work in the reverse direction too. Given a report from a completed marketing campaign, you'll be able to view the performance metrics and identify related business or marketing goals.